Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross. We're gonna be doing the high score challenge, the revamped one, the one that has no medals in it. I don't, I don't understand, but there's jewels. It's a high score challenge, so we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna bring in my main account, which is like one of my best setups because I ended up pulling for Final Fantasy Record Keeper Sephiroth. I uh, got a bunch of lightnings along the way. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna build this Keyblade, and hopefully it works out. But uh, later on, I might be doing my free-to-play count as well to see if I can get a different kind of setup going on or just a setup to help you guys out. I haven't done this yet. I've only done uh, my Keyblade setup I'm about to show you. But a little trick to uh, new players, if you go under your sorts and you click on score, it'll actually sort all the medals you have for this high score challenge and show you how much percentage they are worth. So you can see all these are worth 26, then it goes down to 23, 19, so on and so on until there is no more medals left and it says 0%. So if you want to build a Keyblade quickly, you can do that. So I ended up making a Keyblade. It's going to be on the sleeping line because I got lucky and I pulled a lot of lightnings. So all the lightnings here basically take care of themselves. They give the upright, uh, Attack by 15, upright defense down by 15, uh, general strength. The only thing these medals are missing is general defense down. And instead of bringing a buffer, I don't have Supernova, Kairi, or Shion. All I have is the old ones, and they only do 7. And with extra attack override, it doesn't really do anything. So what I did was I went through my medals. I clicked on sort. And I went to extra attack and defense down to look for a medal that will get me to closest to uh, 15 defense down. And these were my two options right here, Invisible and Sephiroth. I went with Invisible because Invisible sits perfectly on the sleeping line in the third slot. These first two are here just to get the 10 because they only do 10 speed up. They strength upright by 15, but speed strength is only by 10. So I need a couple of them to activate before my true heavy hitters go off. These are Supernova Plus. They have everything on them except for good traits. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, so I'm ending off with the Sephiroth over here again Sephiroth takes care of himself for buffs Everything's just missing that 15 general defense down 14 should do and if I have to I'll stick a second chance on one of these lightnings My sub slots are pretty high uh, 1.564 for the sleeping line. It's not as impressive as the other keyblades But with an all one attribute keyblade, it's hard to get it really high You have to have 120 tier 8 or 9s of just speed medals that are 7 star and that's gonna take a while for me so, I'm going to go in with the setup, 130% without the friend medal. I'm going to bring in, I think Okashi has like a perfect Sephiroth, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here we go. He's got negative uh, 60 ground extra attack and three 1000s. If anything, I'll look for one that shares both of them, but doesn't have extra attack, but it has negative 60 and aerial. It all depends which one I need, but I think I'm going to stick with Okashi's for now, and I think he has an attack boost 8 max on it. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go with 156%. Let's see what I get out of this. Hopefully, I make somewhere where I get some of these jewels back. All right, so actually, I went back and I put a second chance on my first lightning, as you guys can see over here, just in case, and we are going to take the speed route because speed versus speed is neutral damage, and my Sephiroth has perfect traits, so I'm going to make sure Sephiroth has the most power possible. That way, I think I can make it for, uh, further into this high score challenge. I think with second chance, it might be a little bit overkill. I'm not too sure, but again, this is my first try. First try, I'm going to go in, let it auto battle, see what happens, and then from there, I'll probably switch up a lightning to the beginning slot. So it does maximum damage to these little guys to sque squeeze out more score, so on, so on. Wait, they all. Oh no! The general defense down! The general defense down, guys! Oh no! Okay, so like you saw, that f that run was a complete fail. I switched to the Starlight. One, because higher multipliers on my lightnings 5.170, 5.370, and Sephiroth has a 6.070. Where Sleeping Line, it was 4.0, 4.3, and 4.9. Also, on Sleeping Line, Okashi only has 78,000 strength here on his metal, where the Starlight makes sure that the friend metal has way higher strength, 107,000. So, Keyblades matter, make sure to check that out as well. So, we're going to go back in. Uh, you saw me end up on 99 million with the Flutter Wings, I think had like 217,000 health. I'm going to do this a little bit more efficient. My first run through, I kind of just let Auto Battle take care of everything, and I lost like... A lot of score because of it. So I guess for this run, since I already talked to you guys for like a whole 10-15 minutes, I'm going to re-talk to you guys for a whole 10-15 minutes. But I'm just going to explain how the high score challenge works a little bit. So unless you have a lightning on the first slots or a metal that's not killing all of these, basically I'm just going to let Invisible kill most of them. And then lightning is going to go ahead and finish off the third one. But for the second, third group, I can swipe with my visible here. It won't kill them. I might be able to do it the second group as well. 
But that's again, I need to do multiple tries for that. And I'm gonna let my first lightning that actually has a proper boost on her to do the maximum damage. I should really take off auto battle. So I'm gonna do that all the way, making sure that the metal with a proper attack boost, uh, proper skills, not skills, traits, and proper Chippendales, all that good stuff, does the most damage possible killing these enemies. Because Invisible can kill these guys, but he doesn't have as much strength as Lightning does, so I wouldn't get as much score. So, we're going to see if we can increase our score. By the time we hit Flutter Wings, we should have more than 99 million once we get at 200,000 HP. Like I was saying, though, during this high score challenge, I really dislike these high score challenges, not because of the revamp, uh, more because of how much HP these enemies have. So if you have to rerun the high score challenge, you're sitting here for so long. Like that recording was 12 minutes long just to do one run that wasn't fully completed. And now I got to do that all over again, which really sucks. And anybody who's tanking this and doesn't have pure power like I do at the moment, you're going to notice that this is going to take you like half an hour to 45 minutes. And what I noticed is this high score challenge is a copy paste from a previous high score challenge. As I was going through the last rooms, I was noticing, I'm like, wait a minute, the rats, the wizard thing, and now the centipede and the flutter wings in the last room, it's exactly like a previous high score challenge we used to have. So we kind of got a copy paste of a high score challenge and they called it revamp. So uh, anyways, the whole point here of my setup, I'm pretty sure I explained it already, but the invisible gets general defense down. Second lightning is missing five speed up but she's still doing more damage because of the higher multiplier slot on the keyblade than it was doing with full buffs on the lower multiplier sleeping line and now the sephiroth that i just did oh i forgot to do it again i was going to activate these i totally forgot uh but previous run i had to have a second chance to activate on this i'm pretty sure i'm not going to need it now now that this metal yeah it's a big difference 229 i think i did 245 previously and I forgot to activate one of these, which really sucks. I want to activate a 250% one. So after invisible, 250%. So the first lightning gets all the damage as well. And that should be able, able to do two turns. I keep forgetting to activate that lightning. The boost. I did it my last run and I got 99 million without activating Sephiroth, Supernova, or Lightning Supernova on this enemy, the next enemy, and I believe the third enemy. No, the third enemy I did. The, the pod, the centipede. So this should kill it. No combo plus, that's okay. I'm pretty sure combo plus might even add more damage to it. Is that going to kill it? Nope. Okay, so the friend mail is going to finish it off. So if I activated the 200% from lightning, it would have been a difference as well. But at least we two-turned it. That's good. So I just got to make sure I activate both times on this enemy here to make sure we two-turn it. Because the problem I had was I ran out of gauges. Uh, 250. We're going to activate it 200% on this one for the first run. Do I activate 250% as well? No, because the next enemies are going to need both probably. So I'm probably going to do 1, 2, 1, 2 on the next one. Yeah, we'll save it. If anything, I should have saved the 250 for this one. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Oh, we got a combo on the wrong one. That sucks. The thing about, uh, that sucks at Sephiroth on this slot is on your pet slot, combo can't activate. It can only activate on every other slot. And the friend slot. It can't activate on the pet slot. So Sephiroth is losing, losing a lot of damage there. Because if that Sephiroth got combo on it, at any point on these enemies, I'd be tearing through them. Uh, I stuck to the friend metal. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. Because I showed the beginning. At least, I don't know how I'm going to edit it. But I'll show you guys. Um, I stuck to a friend metal that has negative 60 ground only. So it's not doing as much damage to this enemy. And it's not going to do as much damage to the Flutter Wings. Which is going to suck. But hopefully our gauges are good enough now and we don't have to three turn the other guys. Because if we can kill this one on this turn right here, we don't have to activate uh, more Sephiroths later on, which is good. And the less Sephiroths we activate right now, I can probably, I could have probably, yeah, I could have probably just skipped that. I would have saved one gauge right there. If we get screwed over by one gauge, it's because of this moment right here. I shouldn't have activated Sephiroth's extra attack there. I should have just let it play through. Alright, so if this next enemy dies like that, we'll do that instead. Okay, so for this one, if I'm going to skip an extra attack, which one do I want to skip it on? If I activate a 200% now, if I activate 200% now, I'm going to skip on a small guy. And with the other 250%, I'll let it activate. So we'll see how that turns out. So, for mine, no. 
Yeah, yeah, for my Sephiroth, I think I'm gonna skip out on the extra attack. No, I think my Sephiroth will be way better than the friend one. So the friend one, I'm gonna skip out on the extra attack. See how this turns out. If we can two turn this or one turn this. So my Sephiroth's gonna go through 1.4, extra attack on this one, perfectly fine. Doing 609. This Sephiroth's gonna activate once. It's got a combo going off, that's good. It's doing 1.8. 330,000 bars of HP. Should we worry about the next one? 4, 8, 12. We need to finish this off in 12. We need 12 gauges for the next one. Actually, more. Yeah, we're going to tap this. Of course, a combo went off. Of course, a combo went off on that. All right, so this is going to be the full force one. I'm going to let this lightning activate 250%. Okay, and just let it fully clear out. I wish these restores gauges when they actually activate. That would be really good. I'm also missing out on damage because of that. As you can see, I probably would have been better just to activate Supernova after Lightning. But then that Lightning doesn't get it. Again, this is all testing I have to do. It's not 100% sure at this time. These Lightnings activate doesn't matter because they cost one gauge, but they restore one gauge. No combo plus going off on this. We're definitely doing two turns here. I mean, three turns. Ooh, because we need a total... If we do three turns on the next one as well, we need to tell... Oh, okay. Well, at least it's probably only going to cost me a couple Sephiroths. Yeah, 113. It might not even cost me any Sephiroths now that I'm looking at it. If we don't have to activate the last uh, Sephiroths, we're okay. Because I only got two more of these activated. That's for the last, last enemy. 260%. This Lightning, how much are we going to drop? Ooh, not a lot. Not a lot. And now that I'm looking at it, we only got 5 million per hit off that. 67? Ooh, so I'm going to activate this Sephiroth for sure. I'm going to tap. Can I tap the rest of this? I don't think I can tap the rest of this. I don't think Nova's going to do anything either. I can try Nova, maybe. I think Nova's do one. Yeah, they only do one. Because that gives me 12 exactly, but that's pushing it big time because Invisible in the starting, he costs 5 gauges, and I need 5 gauges to stay active. Am I just, like, trying to push too much here? No, the tap wouldn't be good enough. A 1,000 bars of HP for a tap? No, that's not good enough. All right. All right, that just happened. Okay. We're at 93 million score. We ended the other one at 99. Uh, the only way to fix this is if I put like an attack prize plus on one of my lightnings or no cost on my lightning. That would definitely help out. I gotta activate the Sephiroth here. We can't wait till all the way in the end. That's two lightnings without it. Oh no! Okay, nothing happened. We're back into this. Uh, so I did things a little bit differently. Looking at my previous recording, I have more score in there. And that's because I ended up swiping all the way into my better lightning. So I earned, I earned like an extra 5 to 7 million score from those beginning guys to use a stronger lightning. Should have done that from the beginning. But just a heads up why the score looks so different. And we haven't hit this Flutterwing. And already we beat the first score that I did on my first run where I screwed up a little bit. So we have 16 gauges this time. I saved one gauge somewhere, I believe. And the difference here is I got to use one lightning... And then one Sephiroth. So this turn, we're going to use Lightning, which is going to reset the enemy's counters. That way, I don't trigger his counters because Lightning resets, but Sephiroth doesn't. And now we can go into our pure attack here. So hopefully this works out. Three turns uh, should be fine as long as the combos don't go off on the wrong metals like it just did. But we're going to be doing some really good damage here. Hopefully this is a three-turner. Last time I ran out of gauges, I could have beat it, but uh, I'm, I'm thankful that this guy killed me because we beat the score already, and he still has double the HP bars from when he had before. So, combo plus? No combo plus. As long as it triggers next turn, I'm going to be okay. And I think we have enough gauges to do all three turns here. So now that his gauges are higher, there's one combo on the extra attack. It's still good damage, an extra 153. But now that his gauges are higher, we can, act Sephiroth, we can activate Sephiroth without an issue. Um, I tested it out on the previous enemy to activate Sephiroth or Lightning by itself after a Lightning activation. And it gave more score by doing it this way. Uh, not more score, but more damage. I'm not sure about Sephiroth, actually. He's still doing 69 there, which is not too bad. But I think it's better to activate it for the actual attack itself, not just for the Supernova. If we had the proper buffs, it would do both, but we don't. Alright, he's at 264. 
We're looking good on gauges this time. Big difference just by skipping a couple of extra attacks from the previous run. That's the only issue. If I just realized my gauges were going down. This is what happens when you don't use uh, a Kairi or a Shion. You don't notice the gauges because you're always used to auto battle. It's like, oh yeah, no problem. My Kairi my and my Shion is just going to raise my gauges. But now, <laughs> when you do high score challenges and funky setups, this is what you get. Hopefully during the anniversary, which is next month, we get a mercy pull on uh, Kyrie or Shion. That's what I'm saving for next is the anniversary. Besides that, everything else can come out. I don't care. I need a mercy pull 5, please. If it's a 10 mercy pull, well, shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say from there. Do we have enough damage? 108,000 seems like enough. I'm pretty sure this lightning's going to take away half of it without combo plus. Oh, yeah, we are good. We are good. I think we are golden. So my score is going to be maybe 150 million. I don't know how much bonus score this gives. 117. Last time I checked, top places had some crazy score on them. All right, well, Invisible is going to do one big hit here. We can't swipe or anything. 117 million, 117. I could probably squeeze out more score, but without a mic... Uh, Mike Wazowski or Mickey, I'm missing big percentage. So even with all these 26% just because of that one medal, uh, I already did the first run. With no general defense down, I can't do anything. And I don't think any of the percentage medals I have will actually count towards the score because Goofy and Donald are not part of the rewards. So we're in place 183. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if Goofy and Donald were part of the rewards, uh, that would be pretty cool, but no. So I'm in place 183. I believe top ranking is way different. Top 10, 136. Top 50, 132. And top 100 is 123. Uh, but that, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the high score challenge. That's the place I made right now. First run. I'm sorry it took so long. I just haven't really played the high score challenge. I didn't feel the need because of how many days were there. But hopefully something here helped you out. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll see you in the next one.